How long has it been now? Half an hour. Just like Josh, talk to us about the ultimate job, then leave us hanging. Are you okay? Slipped on a banana peel. Seriously, dude, what happened? I slipped on a banana peel, okay? Just drop it! Alright guys, hear me out, hear me out, I got an idea. It's bold, it's creative, and it just might work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She doesn't understand you like I do. Oh my god! Oh god, oh I think god, I shattered my, my radial head. Okay? Luckily I have extensive medical experience. I'm just successfully performed the operation and put my arm in a cast and sling before I hit the ground. Oh god, I hope you have good insurance. Oh my god. Oh my god, what do I do? Do you need me to call an ambulance or I can get my phone right out of my car? Oh! Holy crap! He's going into cardiac arrest! <laughs> breathe! 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 Look at me! Keep your eyes on me! I have all state! You're in Jesus. good hands! Just Jesus, is that you? Don't close your eyes! Oh my god, holy crap! Oh! Ah! ah so much pain! Ah. I'm in so oh much god, pain! What do I do? Ah! 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 Thank you 50% on everything. Look at me. Stay calm. Breathe. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are they doing? Heimlich? Oh, is that the Heimlich though? CPR. Sir, do you need CPR? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Anything? Help! You know what? I feel better. What? Ship shape. Thank you for not abandoning me in the street. Wait, you're literally saying you wanted to be hit by a car? Wait, what? You are literally saying that you want to get hit by a car? Yeah! Does this have anything to do with this great plan you brought us here for? Yeah, actually, no, um, not at all. But it's a good idea, isn't it? Well, it's better than the time you said we should just go door to door. Excuse me, ma'am. We're here to take all of your money. Can you please take all your valuable possessions, put it in this bag? Oh, God! 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 Oh, All of you hooligans! That was a bad idea. My judgment was impaired. Your judgment is always impaired. Says you. What's that supposed to mean? You've had your share of bad ideas too, Brian. Remember last month? <laughs> Dude, are you almost done? It's been two hours! These things take time, guys. And if either of you think... What do you think you're doing here? That was Josh's idea, and you both know it. Brian, don't do this charade again. You're obsessed with home invasions, and you know it. I am not! It's not a bad thing, Brian. It's just... Well... Well what, Brandon? Well, you're kind of bad at them. Besides, what I'm doing is ambitious. Brandon, you just take purses. You just want to make a quick buck. Okay, first of all, purse snatching is a great business. It's clever, it's easy to do, and it's respectable. Respectable? Ah, uh, that's rich. Purse snatching is vastly underrated. There's a lot of perks to it, it's not dirty work, and it's a logical means of getting by. It's a logical means of getting your butt kicked, Brandon. You jerk! Catch me oh my god! How was I supposed to know she knew Krav Maga? 
Exactly. You can never tell when you're stealing off the street, Brandon. Josh, we're wasting time. We came here on account of your master plan you've jumped up. Now, if you don't mind, we'd like to hear it. All right, now I found a place to hit. It's a normal suburban house, right? Not too elaborate, but the target I've got holds more cash than your average bank. So we gotta plan this delicately. Well, in case you don't know how a heist works, I'll make it simple. We sneak in, we get the money, we sneak out. Simple. Let's do this. We can't be irrational on this job, Brian. Do you know who we're stealing from? Wait, is he famous? They're infamous. Now, it took a lot of work, but I found out that this property is the property of a certain Mr. Robert W. Schroeder. Wait, Robert Schroeder? Like, THE Robert Schroeder? Who is this guy? He's a bank robber. The craftiest one in the region. He's been traveling from city to city over the past few years, slipping in and out of banks. He's so good, sometimes it takes days before they realize they've been robbed. The government isn't even sure he exists. Think about it. A guy who's been ripping off finance companies for years? Inside his place, he's probably got millions stacked up somewhere. All for the taking. We couldn't pull that off. You know, even if we did get inside, he'd find us and call the police. All right, let's do this. Let's go get stinking rich. Okay. Let's do this. All right, guys, let's go. This place isn't gonna rob itself. All right, first we gotta... What the hell are you wearing? It's a robber mask. You look like an idiot. Dude, all master criminals wear masks. You're not a master criminal. I will be one day. Mark my words. I even brought my own calling cards. It's the ace of thirds, because we're three aces. We're well, leaving him with the car, right? Come on, guys, we're never gonna get famous if we don't start practicing this stuff. We could be immortalized, the guys who outrobbed the robber. I'll never understand you. I do this for the thrill. You do it for the fame. I do it for the money. You both suck. What? Nothing. All right, this should be easy. Uh, Brian, you almost done with that door? Should be clear in a few seconds. All right, now you're sure you saw him asleep? Positive. Great. So my thought process is that he probably keeps his money hidden somewhere close to where he is. Maybe in a closet, in a briefcase, or a small concealed safe. Something like that. Now it's too risky for the three of us to get close to him. So Brandon, I want you to do it. All right, all right, uh, gotcha. But what about you two? While you're looking around, the master criminal and I will be covered. Hey! <sighs> Sorry, Captain Ski Mask. Anyway, we'll probably spread out, and I'll try and stick to the bottom floor. I'll look for any signs or tails that we might get caught. I'll be limited on my capabilities, of course. Naturally. Brian, on the other hand, will act as our second searcher. If there's anything valuable on the lower floor or in the basement, Brian will load up as much of it as he can and get it out as quickly as he can. As for you, Brandon, be limited. If we take all of this guy's money, he's going to notice. We're going to get caught. A few million will do. It won't go unnoticed, but with the amount of dough this guy's raked in, it can't be an, possibly be enough to get him worked up over. Uh, so there you go. Is this plan understood? Yes, sir. Aye, aye, Captain Cripple. All right, there we go. I think you should go first, Josh. You're the reason why any of this is possible. <laughs> yeah, I've got to admit it. You really have done yourself. Thank you, my wonderful associates. Now beyond these doors lie the riches of our wildest dreams. Come here often. 